In this exercise, we're going to be discussing mirroring features. Mirroring features is part of the patterning group, and it's up here underneath the rectangular and circular patterns, and we select mirror feature. As I said before, I think Picasso is credited with saying good artists borrow and great artists steal, and it's not necessarily from somebody else. We're going to you know, steal stuff from ourselves. If you take a long time creating a very complex feature, you don't want to have to repeat that three or four, five, six, seven times. You want to be able to reuse that data quickly and easily. And to show you how easy it is to mirror, you can look at how few options there are. Basically, you have two selections. The stuff over at the left, do you want to mirror just a feature or the entire solid? If you're in the mirroring feature, you're probably going to be mirroring a feature, so you don't really need the solid one. And the same with the solid down here. This is more if you had like a, a solid you brought in from something else. And so really the only two selections are, what do we want to mirror? So I'm going to select the red arrow there, and then I'll say this hole, this lever, and this round here. And then the next option is, where do we want to mirror it? I have to have a mirror plane, and I'm just going to select the bottom face there, and that will work for that plane. Hit OK. Look at it. I'm going to say mirror, and I mirror this object. This time I need a mirror plane going through the middle here. If I didn't have an origin plane going through there, which I do, if say the origin plane was through the middle of the part, I could come up and draw an axis through this round and then put a plane on it and make it normal to the origin plane. In this case I actually have an origin plane so I can just select that and say okay. And I have my part. Now you'll notice that the center went away. The center hole. And the reason is, is because I didn't mirror it. I didn't need to mirror it because I wasn't going to create four holes. I only want one hole. So what I need to do is grab it and drag it to the bottom of my part. Because this is an extrusion, if you look at it, it's through all. All I have to do is move it down below the mirror and it'll go all the way through the part. It's pretty simple. Now if I want to come in here and add something else to this part, say I want to add it to both sides, so I want to add it to the mirror, the easiest way to do it is to click on the mirror, say I want to add it before I do the half mirror, right click, and say move into part marker, and that moves it up. I'll move it all the way up here, so my mirror goes away. Select my face, hit F7, and I'll do a center point rectangle. 35 by, I don't know, 7. Let's do 8. Hit enter. And then I can dimension it where I want it to be. 40. Finish. Say extrude this to next. Okay. Looks something like that. Say fill it. Grab the feature there. And grab the loop around the bottom of the feature. Grab the loop around the top of the feature here. Get my little toolbar there out of my way. Make sure I got everything I want. Hit OK. And just drag the end part back down. And notice it didn't automatically add that information in there. It's not going to go through and assume anything on you there because you may not want that to go to the other side. In case you do, all you have to do is come up and say select feature, and I can even select them over here in the browser, hit OK, and now I get that on both sides of the part. Now realistically that would be impossible to mold or machine just like that, but we'll pretend this is a weldment for the moment. So you can see how easy it is to use the mirror command. If I wanted to go back and remove something, I could just go back and deselect it. Right click and say edit feature. Select on the feature command, hold down control, and I can decide what I wanted to remove. And if I wanted to remove the fillet out of the mirror there, you see one side's filleted, one side's not. It's really easy to use. It's not a real complex feature. Play with this, see what you can do, and think creatively. With the 2013 version, 
you can actually just mirror the feature without the base feature that created it. In the past, you actually had to mirror the extrusion and the fillet. Now you can just mirror the fillet as long as it makes an effective fillet on the other side. That's one of the new features in 2013. Play with it, see what you can do, and think about creatively how you can use this in your designs. What can you make that's symmetrical that you only have to draw one time and you can mirror it from one side to the other? It's a very powerful tool and it's very easy to use.